Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steve Ferguson here, branch manager for Thrive Mortgage. And today I want to go over a market update. So let's figure out what's going on in the market and why things are happening the way that they're happening. So first of all, we know inflation is at an all time high. So the way that the Fed should take care of inflation is by continuing to raise the Fed rate. Now what the Fed rate does is it gives that's the rate that bank to bank lending uses. So what that means is if Bank of America wants to loan money to Wells Fargo, that's the rate that they would charge. Okay. What that generally means is the cost of those funds increases for the bank and they pass that on to the consumer. So car loans, credit cards, mortgage loans, etc. However, this is not a normal market. And so let me explain what's going on here. Just because the Fed raises their rate does not mean that interest rates are going to go up. So month ago, you know, right in that range, everybody thought the rates were going to go super high. The market was trending that way. And then all of a sudden we flattened out and we started to come back down. The reason for that is there's so much talk of a recession coming up. So what happens is when inflation is super high, rates normally go with that. You can see them trend. But the total GDP of the United States of America for residential real estate is 18%. So we can't afford to have a situation where the real estate market falls apart. And that's going to happen if rates continue to climb, 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 climb. So what's happening then is all these hedge funds and everything else aren't willing to buy those higher interest rates. It's not just the Fed that's messing with that. It's not just Fannie. There's lots of independent companies that buy securities in mortgages, like, for example, retirement funds, teacher retirement system, the firefighters unions, et cetera, all buy mortgage backed securities. They're not willing to support that kind of coupon because they're concerned about what their return on the investment is. It's a safe bet that what they're paying for is something they can depend on and it closely matches the 10-year treasury. However, mortgage-backed securities are usually better performing than the 10-year treasury is. So it's a safer investment for these types of companies. That's driving rates to stabilize and stay where they are. So that being said, it's plausible we could have seen the cap on the interest rate market have already occurred. Now, there's some interesting things coming out in September. So Fannie Mae has already said that when they sell a book of their business off or when a book of their business comes to term, they're no longer going to buy mortgage-backed securities or mortgages to fill up what they just sold off or what just got came to term. In September, there's a huge amount of uh, loans that are coming to term. I think it's over $40 billion. That being said, Fannie Mae is not going to go buy a bunch of mortgage-backed loans or mortgage-backed securities to fill up that pipeline. So we may see a bump in interest rates in September. I think it'll be a, a temporary bump at that point in time. And I think we're going to see some stabilization here. I don't think the inflation numbers are going to greatly impact interest rates at this time uh, just because of where the market is and the potential for there to be some financial trouble in the future for um, our economy. So that being said, it's a great time to buy. It's a great time to get financing. It's a great time to purchase homes because everything is still pointing to home prices increasing. So if you're a renter right now, or if you're an agent working with a bunch of renters right now, educate them, let them know, hey, look, everybody needs shelter. That's never going to go away. The key is, is how much is shelter going to cost you? And so right now, shelter is still very, very affordable. So I encourage everybody to go out there and Get the homes purchased. If you want to buy investment property, it's a great time to buy investment property because there are a lot of people right now that are not making decisions on the market. And so they've decided to rent and that's costing them a lot of money. So anyway, I can tell you this. Nobody knows the real answer of where the market's going. We can only estimate if you took a magic eight ball and shook it up, right? That's kind of where we are because there's so many different things that can go into what the market can do. But what we are expecting is some stabilization here. Hope that helps. If you guys have any questions, reach out anytime. I'd love to visit with you and uh, hope you have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.